Hey guys, I'm Sergeant M. Welcome to my Xbox 360 controller tutorial. Uh, for this tutorial, I'll just be painting my uh, standard practice uh, Xbox controller. Just one I keep on hand just to play around with. Um, I'll be using uh, AutoWare Color Sparkle as Sun Gold Orange and a um, Badger Patriot 105. Now, what I haven't included in this tutorial is a breakdown of the controller. There are lots of them out there. Really didn't feel it was necessary to include it. Um, just a simple Torx uh, screwdriver will take these things apart. They're they're uh, they're pretty. If you've gotten this far, you're, they're pretty straightforward. You probably already have yours broken down. So all I'm doing right now, I'm going in with some uh, AutoWare Sealer White. I've tinted that with some AutoWare Semi Opaque Flame Yellow. Um, before these steps, another thing I didn't include in the in the tutorial. Um, I've also washed the controller. I just used standard uh, liquid dish soap. Um, I've also sanded it with some 400 grit wet sandpaper. And since I'm using the Sparkle Essence Sun Gold Orange, um, you know, from AutoWear, they're Sparkle Essence, they're pearls, they're a very, very uh, transparent color. Not like a candy, but um, where they'll get darker as you know the more coats. Uh, you apply um, but uh, they're very transparent so uh, with with these colors it takes a lot of um, a lot of paint to really achieve a full sealing coat so what I did with my sealer uh, I tinted that with the uh, semi opaque flame yellow and that'll just help me save paint with the sparkalescent color because you know these these colors to buy them in, in the bottles they are kind of expensive so you don't want to waste the paint so tint your sealer uh, with the complementary color and start spraying. The sealer, I'm, I'm spraying, uh, uh, I think I sprayed three coats and then realized that it really wasn't tinted dark enough so I uh, added a couple drops of the uh, of the flame orange and I sprayed a couple more coats and um, then I went in with, uh, with the color so I know this this part's kinda boring but um, really you know preparation is 90 percent of any custom paint job if it's not prepared right um, it's not going to look right in the end so take your time get your sealers right get your get your sanding right make sure everything is is, uh, is prepared right and you won't have failures later on now another thing I could have done before uh, I sprayed the sealer and unfortunately I don't have any on hand I could have sprayed some adhesion promoter like some Bulldog adhesion promoter uh, I know a bunch of different companies uh, make uh, make uh, adhesion promoters Sherba Williams has one House of Colors has some House of Color not colors uh, House of Color has their own um, but uh, Bulldog maybe one or two uh, light coats would uh, would be sufficient so um, you know that that's just another added insurance step to make sure that these layers of paint don't don't uh, don't lift up on you later on. But if it's sanded properly and it's sanded with the proper grit, no higher than 600 for these uh, for Auto Air, um, you you really shouldn't run into any adhesion problems whatsoever. All right, so let's get that color into the cup. This is the Sparkalescent Sun Gold Orange. Again, I'm using the Badger Patriot 105 airbrush. Um, now, why am I using the Patriot? Well, the Sparkle Essence, uh, they have a pearl in them that, that will react with the light and um, shine and, and, and just give you really tons of really cool effects just, just right within the paint. Um, so I needed the, the larger nozzle of the Patriot uh, to spray those pearls. Now, that being said, you know, yeah, the Patriot can be a fire hose, and you can just flood the paint on. But uh, if you practice good trigger control, it's got a 0.4 millimeter nozzle on it. If you practice good trigger control, you can get some very, very tight lines and awesome detail with this airbrush. So it's a very, very versatile all-around uh, airbrush. It's it's one that I recommend for most people starting out. Go with the Patriot. They're very affordable. Um, since it's a Badger product, it is uh, guaranteed and, and warranted for life. You can call Badger and say, hey, this broke, and you know they'll send you a new brush, or you can send yours back, and they'll fix it and send it back to you. Um, spare parts are 
are cheap, if you need an, uh, uh, another needle, if you need a new nozzle, you know, whatever it is, uh, Badger makes an outstanding product and they stand behind it. Um, so that's why uh, I personally use all Badger products. So here we are, we're just spraying the, um, the Sparkless and Sun Gold Orange and I'm going to go in with four, probably maybe even five coats. You know, unfortunately I didn't count the, the, uh, the amount of coats that I used um, on this on this Xbox, but uh, again, the sparkalescent colors, they're very transparent, so um, the, the best advice I can give you here is spray them just like with Auto Air Candies, spray them in very, very light coats. Um, now, I, I did reduce some, and you can see I'm staying back off the project a little bit, uh, and that's because of because of the pearls that are in the sparkalescent colors, uh, you do have to kind of open that nozzle up, let the paint just fly out. But uh, uh, for the most part, these are very light coats, and uh, I'm drying it just with the air in between coats. And um, you can see right at the end of the video here, you can see how how these uh, sparkalescent colors, even though this controller is not cleared. You can see how these sparkle essence really just play with uh, play with the light, especially on these curved surfaces. I, I love it. Um, really just plays with the light, and everything just reflects back on you. And it's just it's just, I really love this color, this sparkle essence sun gold orange. Uh, now speaking of clear coats, uh, since this is just a practice controller for me, um, it's not it's not one that I'm going to sell. Um, I'm not going to clear coat this now. For clear coats, you do have two options. Um, one is just a standard uh, spray can clear coat, rattle can clear that you can get it at your local hardware store or uh, you know Walmart, Kmart. Uh, and two is an automotive clear coat. Uh, now, I myself prefer the the automotive clear coats because they're much more durable. <clears throat> um, they. You know, I, I would put an automotive clear coat is, is really what it is. It's for automotive use. It's, it's the same thing that I would spray on a motorcycle, on an RV, on somebody's car, truck, you name it. Anything that's going to be exposed to the sun. I would not, put, I would not spray a car or a motorcycle um, with rattle can clear coats because they're not catalyzed. They're not hard. Um, they're not going to last. Um, your paint, on, uh, chances are the, the clear coat itself will actually start to fade, start to yellow over time if it's left in the sun. Um, there's no really no UV protection, so your um, so the paint underneath can fade, yellow, dull. Um, but for things like Xboxes, Xbox controllers, uh, if all you have is is a is a standard rattle can clear coat, feel free to use it. Um, I would recommend putting on six or even seven coats of clear just to get it really thick, really build it up, um, because you know these controllers are going to be handled uh, quite often, uh, and you don't want that clear coat fa failing on you and your customer coming back to you and, and upset or or ruining if it's your if it's your own project. You don't want that clear coat failing on you and you know ruin and, and waste all the time that you spent on on uh, on painting this in the first place. So. Yes, I recommend it, uh, and prefer automotive clear coats. They're much better, um, but there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of extra steps you have to take. You have to have a compressor that'll push that will push a, uh, a spray gun. Uh, you have to have, uh, and depending on where you are, if you if, you know there are state regulations, you got to be careful of those. You ha you have to have access to a booth, uh, a standard spray booth. Uh, for extraction, they're very toxic, so there's a lot of safety precautions uh, that you have to take when, when spraying those things. Um, whereas with the rattle can clear coat, take it outside, spray it down, let it dry, and you're good to go. There's really, yes, I do still recommend wearing a mask with with, with rattle can clear coats, but uh, it's not something that will uh, will kill you as quickly. As a as an automotive urethane clear coat, if if you if you're uh, not careful, uh, those things automotive clear coats are very nasty. Um, 
if you're if you're not careful, and uh, you can get yourself in a lot of trouble. So, if you're looking to go that route, spend some time, do the research um, on what safety precautions you uh, you have to take. Uh, isocyanates are a very very bad thing if uh, if you're not careful, and, and it can mess you up. So uh, really, that's about it, guys, uh, for the tutorial. Uh, if this is your first time watching, thanks a lot. Check it. Thanks a lot for checking it out. Feel free to click that like button. Helps me out. I do appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, put tutorials on here as often as I can. I know it's been uh, I know it's been a few weeks, but uh, I apologize for that. You know, life gets in the way sometimes. So uh, that's it for now, guys. I am Sergeant M. www.airbrushingtips.net as well as the airbrushforum.com. Thanks for checking it out, and I will see you guys next time.